afternoon. Good afternoon. You have taken me off my culture armor festivities. <laughs> the, the, the responder is nonsense. Lindsay Daniel, my former teacher in school, is spewing on the airwaves. Okay. I had not, I had not myself decided to respond to Henry. Frankly, I believe Henry doesn't have the moral authority to speak to any matter, so far as the public is concerned. Not with his record, not with him having the dubious distinction of being the only person that I'm aware of in the entire Caribbean region who has been found null and void by a court of law. Not Hensley. Let somebody else come. That messenger there, frankly, is not a messenger that we can accept on the airwaves of the Federation. Not somebody who even know is in the court fighting not to pay costs. And the court ordered him to pay. And I just put in my note, he said, I want my money, because he hasn't paid me yet. No. What about I'm this, this fraud charge that he said? I'm getting, yeah. I'm, I'm getting You're to, getting to that. Since he has raised this issue. Yes, sir. Henry Good night, caller. You're on. Good evening, Mr. Edinburgh. Good evening to you. My name is Elton Marcus Hall. Oh, good evening, sir. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm here listening to your show. And I can't say I know very much about this indictment that's happening in the States and what's going on with mm -hmm. Fidelity Trust. But if what you're saying there is true, it's very disturbing to me. It's very, very disturbing. And I'm having, I'm having a big problem with that. And... I know you played a clip, I guess, that Mr. Brantley made on Junie's show. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Brantley's going to have to do better than, more than just condemn <laughs> Mr. Daniel. Is. That's the point. He's going to have to do more than just condemn Mr. Daniel. He's going to have to come and give a detailed account to the mm -hmm. people of Nevis. Because mm -hmm. the people of Nevis put him in trust in government. Mm -hmm. You see, Mr. Edinburgh, I, Elton Marcus Hall, I am not... I'm not Hensley Daniel, I'm Elton Marcus Hall. And I am been asking for Mr. Brantley, who is the mover of the Integrity in Public Life Bill in the Federal House, to bring it in Nevis. Mm -hmm. Because I foresee that the people of Nevis needs protection. Mm -hmm. Now and in the future. Mm -hmm. And since he was the mover in sync it in this bill, there is no reason why we cannot have the integrity in public life bill in Nevis to protect Nevis and Nevisions. And when politicians in Nevis go into office, they must be accountable for what they do. Mm -hmm. There must be checks and balances. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying since Mr. Brantley was the mover of that bill, it should have been tabled already in Nevis and passed. And let that be Mr. Edinburgh, mm -hmm. let that be the beacon, not only for the parliament in St. Kitts, but also the Eastern Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Let that be, because you were out, you are the forefront, you were out on the bill, mm -hmm. and therefore it should be no problem here. I'm only asking for protection for the people of Nevis now and in the future. Mm -hmm. Because I hear everybody keeps spouting on about this non-confidence motion. I understand that the non-confidence motion is an important part of parliamentary procedure. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Edinburgh, for God's sakes, what is the point of putting politicians back in there without any checks and guidelines and accountability for what they do with the public purse when they get into office? Well, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, I've said that, and I've, yes, <clears throat> I'm in support of the um, Labour Party, but I've also expressed my wish to see the integrity in public life become okay. law. I've expressed that and I have expressed even more vigorously the need for constitutional reform. Because those are the two things that will bring any form of relief to the people from the politicians. Well, you know, I'm not going to disagree with you on constitutional reform, but I am saying to you, the move of the bill is in a position in Nevis mm -hmm. to bring the integrity in public life to protect not only himself and the, the current people who are in parliament, 
but also future people who are going in there, and as well protect the people of Nevis. I That's heard you. what I am interested in as a Nevision. And I'm saying, I mean, I'm sure the revelation, <laughs> Mr. Edinburgh, mm -hmm. of what's going on here with this indictment is going to come out. I personally, I haven't had any information yet. And if I can get some information from someone, I will certainly read it. And at that time, I will comment on it. But certainly, the Integrity in Public Life bill must be tabled and passed in Nevis and let that be the beacon for all the rest of us to live by. And that way, the people of Nevis can sleep good at night knowing that people are in there with accountability and checks and balance. Have a good night, Mr. Edinburgh. I thank you very much, and you have a good night as well.